From riding our e-mountain bikes out on the trails to being on the spanners and the workshops, there's a bunch of hacks that we can use on our e-mountain bikes to make our lives that little bit easier. Here's a few of our favorites. Now, most e-mountain bikes are pretty well sealed against the elements these days, but if you're riding in really harsh conditions, duct tape is a really great way of protecting some of those items on your e-bike and keeping out all that water and gunk if you're riding in the mud and going in loads of water. Now, I like to use it all over my bike on areas where water could potentially enter my bike, such as uh, the leading edge of this battery cover, you've got cable ports, some of your motor area, and even the brake calipers are really good to just put a small layer over the top to stop all the gunk entering them. Just think about where you're using the duct tape. Obviously, don't go taping over any drain holes on your bike, because if you go over them, obviously the bike's gonna fill up with water and you're gonna drown all those electrical components. But duct tape, great way of keeping that water at bay in extreme conditions. Now, hills are a great thing to be tackling on your e-mountain bike, but now and again, you can bite off more than you can chew and end up coming to a standstill, maybe from a wheel spin or a pedal strike. A couple of options to get going here. One is to stick it into a higher power mode and crunch a load of gears, maybe even snap a chain by getting moving again. But the next one is a walk mode gear change. So for this one, it's super simple. All you need to do is get off of your bike, pull the front brake, a little bit of an endo, pushing the bars forward, and then we select walk mode. There we go, walk mode selected. Get into your easier gear, drop the back wheel back down, get on your bike, stick it back up into boost mode, and then pedal away, nice and easy. Just like that, look. Rather than snapping your chain, there you go. <laughs> now mud is heavy and it attracts water, something you do not want on your e-mountain bike. And this is where moto foam helps save the day. Now this is something that the motocross guys use when it's really muddy out on track. And all this does is packs into those areas on your bike where mud could build up. And all it's gonna do is give you a, a barrier the mud hits it and will simply fall back off onto the trail. And it's a really great way of helping that, stopping that mud building up on your bike. And also when you get back after a muddy ride, it cuts down on your washing time. So we're just gonna fit this on some areas on this bike. Now, one thing you might find slightly annoying about your e-bike is when it comes to chain lubing or maintaining or inspecting your chain. If you've got the wheels on the ground like I have now, you go to pedal your cranks back, but your cranks just spin due to that front clutch and free wheel design in the motor. Now, something that's really easy to do is just find something that either goes in your chainring bolt, such as a five mil Allen key, slot that in to your chainring bolt, butt that up against your crank, and that's gonna allow you to simply pedal your cranks backwards and apply lube or inspect your chain as you can do on a regular mountain bike. Doesn't need to be an Allen key. If you haven't got chainring bolts on your bike, you can of course just use something like a reusable zip tie around your crank and your chainring, and that'll work the same way as this Allen key too. The one item I always like to carry in my riding pack is one of these. Now you might be wondering what this is. Now this is a Presta to Trader converter for the valves on your wheels. And this can really save your day if you're in the middle of nowhere and you've got a flat tire and you need to pump it up. If you come across a service station, like a forecourt with a compressor on it, or maybe just a farmhouse out in the middle of nowhere, this is gonna make your valve a pretty universal fit to most pumps out there and could really save your day in pumping up your tire. Now, some bikes that are specialised in the newer canyons use a magnetic Rosenberg connection for charging your batteries. Now, this ensures a really good connection between your charger and your battery, but one thing it's also really good at is picking up swarf and any metal objects on your garage or shed floor, meaning that you might not get such a good connection when you come to plugging that charger in next time. Now, a really good hack for this one is to find some sort of protection for the end of your lead. Now, I fashioned this one out of an old bicycle grip, not the lock-on style one, just an old school grip. It simply plugs over the end of that uh, charger cap, meaning it's gonna stay protected. You can drop it on the floor and it's not gonna pick up any of that swarf.
Now, some people find e-mountain bikes hard to maneuver, particularly in those tight spaces. And this is usually due to the weight and the size of the bike. Something that's gonna make your day a lot easier is to get that bike onto the back wheel. And it's super simple to do. All we do is give the forks a quick squash, use that bounce to pick the front wheel up whilst holding the back brake. We transfer the bike onto the back wheel and you need to pull it back towards you. You need to get into a zone where it feels fairly well balanced. And that way you can maneuver it around super simple. Say for instance, going through doorways or getting it into your garage. Don't struggle with it, getting it on two wheels where you're sort of shuffling it around gets really hard and it does get quite heavy. Up on that back wheel, super simple, maneuver it around wherever you like. Whee! Now the last hack that I've got for you in this video could really save your ride. Now something that can happen on your e-mountain bike is a free hub failure. Now if your free hub fails, your cassette is simply gonna spin round and round on your wheel without giving you any drive. And it can mean a long push home. But something that can save your day is a bunch of zip ties. Now all you do with your zip ties is thread them through your cassette and loop them to the opposing spokes on your wheel. So you just zip tie through this and then onto the spokes and you repeat this process all the way around the cassette and this is gonna fix the cassette to the wheel itself and then allow you to drive your bike along when you start pedaling. And the great thing about this on a knee mountain bike is that you've got that front free wheel. So when you're coasting down the hills, your whole drivetrain is gonna be in motion, but it will allow your cranks to stay still and engage that drive as and when you need it. If you were to do this on a regular bike, it would convert it into a fixing, meaning the cranks would be spinning all the time round. But with this one, it is a great hack to get you home if that free hub does fail. And there we go, a bunch of hacks that can really save your day or just make your life that little bit easier when it comes to working on your e-mounted bike. Get involved in the comments box down below if you've got any great hacks that you, we can use out there on the trails or even in the workshop. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe to us here on EMBN and get in that merch shop and check out all the kit in the shop too.